I honestly should not even go thrifting today because I have like a ton of stuff to list, clean, take pictures of, yada yada, of inventory in my sunroom. But and it's a big but. I did somehow manage to get one of my sons to help me later today for a couple of hours. So I figure with two of us doing it, that's half the time, which leaves me time to go thrifting. And we're starting off today's trip to the thrift with $286 that we can use to find items to flip for a profit. The furniture is all half off today. And of course they still have all the Christmas holiday stuff over there. It's been half off now for probably a couple of months. Ooh, this is nice. 150 it'd be 75 Ooh, I like this. I like that a lot. I wish it were a little bit longer. That would look really good in my dining room. Hmm. I may have to think about that. Now, the one thing I have been looking for for probably a year or two now is a round table. I want to put it in my kitchen. Um, that's the reason why I am reselling, to save the money to start on those renovations. And it is an eat-in kitchen, so there is space for a round table. Just haven't found the right one or a right price for one. I don't mind putting a little elbow grease into making a table look better but I don't want to put a lot so if I can find one that needs very minimal or no work whatsoever that's what I'm looking for this is where I found all the department 56 stuff if you missed that video I will link it in the cards I'm not seeing any other department 56 items hmm all right maybe I did get all of them over here the other week this looks like buyers at least her face does it's probably not very expressive but not a buyer's that's pretty cool I don't really well yeah I think baby Jesus has a deformity in his hand right there hmm. what a bummer oh my goodness it's a good thing my head is attached to me laid my glasses down oh my goodness I need to get one of those things you know that hold my glasses I've often said the older you get, the more you got to keep stuff attached to you so you know where it's at. <laughs> Is that a cat or a dog? I found two outdoor plants here with a bow, but they look pretty real. And I want to find a couple of planters to put them in to put on my back porch, which is just my stoop. Of course, like I've always said, when you find one of something at a thrift store, you rarely find a second one that matches. I found this grapevine wreath. I love grapevine wreaths because you can easily attach and unattach things on here. It's two dollars. But what I want to do, I want to find several of these because I want to do like a wreath making party for fall or maybe for Christmas. And I will show that on my other channel. If you did not know, I do have a second channel called The Curated Life. I will leave it in the car so you can check out the trailer just in case you're interested in subscribing this is really nice 40 it'd be on sale for 20 but there's no leaf and really this is a little too small mm, the size just I don't think it'd be right for my little area in the kitchen I really need something I can seat six but that is really pretty it doesn't like there really needs to be a lot of work done to it and it looks like it is pure wood so that's really nice but only if it had the leaf it was a little bigger so I've had my eye on something that's been here probably for a few weeks now I'm drawn to it it's a hundred dollars to be 50 today and maybe it's meant to be I wasn't gonna get it at first it's quite large what is it what is it uh, let me show you All right, it is this large bench I'm sure it was in a church at one time I think it would go with the French country look I'm going for in my sunroom, and it's $50. Should we do it? It is pretty, isn't it? All right, should we do it? Should we do it? Yes, just do it already. Should we do it? All right, we did it. We're going to pick it up. I don't know when because I have to find somebody with a large truck, which is probably my sister-in-law, but I got to measure it first. It's almost nine feet. I hope it can fit in her truck. Hey, uh, 
I just made an impulse buy and I don't know how I'm gonna get it home. <laughs> how is that my problem? How, how, how big is your truck? All right. I appreciate that. I tell you, you're my favorite sister-in-law. <laughs> I'm always looking at lamps. I love lamp. I hate shipping them. Oh, that's really pretty. I wonder if it's a reproduction though. So they're a couple, they're not the exact same style. Well, I guess detail on it. Antique vintage, Leviton, 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 bubbled hobnail, hand painted blue. They're trying to sell two for 250. I mean, it's really pretty. I just don't know if I'd want to ship it. And who knows how long it would take to sell if I just listed it, you know, as local pickup. And the thing is, sometimes it's harder to sell just one instead of a set. If it were a set, I think I would consider it. There is another lamp back here. I have been looking at this lamp for a while. I love lamp. It's $10. I wonder if there's any damage to it, because it's really pretty. Oh my goodness, am I gonna find anything today to resell? Doubt it. It's honestly not in bad condition. I mean, the lamp, a little damage there, but I'm sure you can find the lamp shades. Hmm, oh my goodness, it's $10, guys. Now I'm trying to think, where would I put it? Where would I put it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Guys, just do it already. I'm gonna let it ride in the shopping cart with me as we look around. But it is really pretty, especially for $10. All right, let's do a little candle hunting. Remember, I am trying to restock my candles and I don't wanna buy any of them brand new. Today we found a half burnt peppermint sugar cookie candle from Bath and Body Works. It doesn't really take much to make me happy. For two dollars, but hey, they're still half in here and they were $25 to start with, so yeah, I'll take it for two. For the life of me, I have no idea why I look at plates because I hate to ship them, but look at that. That's really pretty. Gourmet Basics by Mikasa. They want 15 for a set of four. You see three little ones though. Maybe they're thinking this one goes with it too. Hmm, pretty, but not for 15 to resell. But, you know, for personal use, 15 probably isn't bad, even though I don't know what you do with three small and one large one. So I did find one thing so far to pick up to resell. This is $2. I'm gonna take it out of the frame. The frame really isn't the best, but look at that needle point. I don't know if that's cross stitch or what it is, but that is so good. Muffin tops. That's how you feel like eating Thanksgiving dinner. It's Thanksgiving. Pull up your pants. So after sweating our butts off in 95 degree weather, a couple people helping us, and a gentleman who gave us one of the straps from his truck, we got it home. We, we got it home. My sister-in-law will probably never pick up another phone call from me ever again. I love this church pew. It was 150, then they marked it down to 100, but it was half off the furniture, so I ended up getting this beauty for $50. Now it's a little, I, I need a fix, because it's like a seesaw, a little bit at the moment, but that is gonna be an easy fix. And I'm also going to probably be sanding her and then just putting a clear coat, because I do like the distressed look. I will be sharing all of this on my second channel, which is called The Curated Life. You said that already! And along with our church pew, I also found the beautiful lamp. Um, I believe they considered this, I guess they would call it like a student lamp or a bouillette. Bouillon. No, that's not right. Just a disclaimer, I don't really know if this is that style of lamp, but we're gonna learn how to pronounce it anyway. Hi everyone, hey. greetings on this video. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to tell you how to pronounce why, this Why word. do you sound like a robot? So let's start. All right, let's start. Bullet. 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 Okay, let's say it again. Bullet. 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 Say what? That's all. Thanks for listening. If That's you it? Like this Bullet? Bullet? Bueller? Bueller? So I spent $60 of my own money on these two items and $2 for the piece of, um, is that, 
I guess it's needlework. Is it cross stitch? I'm still learning. But I'm hoping to maybe get anywhere between $20 and $30 for it. We started off our trip to the thrift with $286. We spent $2 on items to flip for profit, leaving us $284 that we have left for the rest of the month of September to find items to flip for a profit. If you missed my last video, I will pop it right here. And if you want to see the latest video on my second channel, I'll put it right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.